So this is that Vivor water pump that I uh, did a video on about seven, eight months ago, I guess. It still runs, it's just uh, the creek back there is almost dried up. So you can see the creek is way down here. It's usually up to here going through that pipe. But we have no more flow. We're supposed to be getting some rain possibly this afternoon. Hopefully that starts it back up. So I figured I'd pull it out and clean it up and show you guys what I did up here. This is, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it, it does corrode and it seems like it rusts, but then you've got a shiny part here. I don't know, let's clean this up. But anyways, this is what I did. This had real crappy threads on it and the garden hose would keep coming off of there would just blow off so I just used some of this flexible conduit and Jerry rigged something here put a hose end on it and just hose clamped it onto this end and it, it it's been working fine so let's clean it up and take a better look at it all right let's take a better look at this thing I would say this is stainless and this is stainless, but this bottom part is just a chrome plated steel. And then we've got two aluminum. The bottom plate is aluminum. That's corroding pretty good. And this middle section here is aluminum too. And that's corroding pretty badly also. This top part, I'm still not sure what that is. I mean, we got rust here. There's an O-ring, not sure what that is. I mean, up here it doesn't seem like it's rusting, but it sure doesn't look like stainless. So there you go, guys. The Vivor pump, it's been running for about seven, eight months now. I would imagine that it'll probably last the season. And if that's the case, I would say it's it's worth the 40 some dollars that they're charging for these things. I mean, this this has been running every day. Well, every day that we have solar available to uh, to run it, so. There you go, guys. I appreciate you. Have a good one.